So to do a drawing, guess how I'm going to do it? How am I going to do a drawing? Yeah, I'm going to go to new drawing. And let it load. And load. So then I'll browse, find my part. So select my column. Pick your view. stuff and say okay. Oh, and actually I need a back view too. So I'm going to view layout, project it. And I don't need that. My stuff's really small. And this is an A size too. So I should probably change my sheet, right? I should probably be on a B. How can I change my sheet size? Go up to browser. Okay, we'll where size. What? Uh, right click on uh, on sheet, and then go to properties. Ah, there it is. So I want to make sure it's third angle, right? We're using third angle. Even if your drawings are first angle, we're doing them third angle. Here's your size. Um, here's your sheet, your sheet size, so we're going to do a B landscape, we'll say one to one. And then you have to double click on the size to make it go. Now I can kind of pull everything back out. Stay lined up. Okay. I'll right click. Um, where was it? So if I click on annotation, <laughs> model items, and I click on a view. I can, tell, I can tell over here what I want. So, you can see over here, I've got mark, things I've marked on this. <coughs> and when I'm making the dimensions in the part, and I can say that I want to go on the drawing, I can also tell it just regular dimensions, whole wizard locations, whole profiles, I don't need that, whole notes. If I have patterns, I can do that. So I'll say OK. So it brought in stuff. <coughs> so it brings in all your dimensions at one time? Yep. If you just pick it? Then I just pick which ones you want to keep. It's like it's better the same uh, exactly, exactly like you do when you draw it. Oh, but without doing all the, without clicking all the points. In the vendor, you had to click the points and then it brought them all out. So you can see that some of the stuff is a little pokey. We need to delete those stuff from that view. Will it, will it delete from all the other views too? Or? What do you mean? You say like some of the yeah, dimensions that you have. Yeah, I'm just, when I delete them, I'm just taking them off of the display here. It's still linked in the model, it's just not going to show up here. Nice. But then all the other. Um, all the other views will still show. Yeah. Well, the differences between SolidWorks and Inventor, guys, if I double click on these, these dimensions here, and I decide that I want this to be 3.5, and I hit update, it actually changes the part. So it changes the so in SolidWorks, remember if I wanted to change anything, I have to go back to the model to fix it. Here, if you're using one of the dimensions that you got from the model that used the model items, if you change one of those dimensions, you will actually change the part. Whoa. 
Okay? So that's some good thing I could go in here and say, oh, that would be 0.5. And update, and it'll space it out again. That's where having your constraints right really matters because I have these centered, so it's going to stay centered. If I had them constrained from this edge, like I had a dimension there and a dimension there, it wouldn't stay centered anymore. So that's why you need to have your constraints set up right so that way you come back and fix them easily. And they're just going to update and stay, stay lined up correctly, okay? How about these ones? The space is supposed to stay through there. Are those supposed to stay through? If it goes all the way through the No. Part? No. We're, it's not supposed to stay through. <clears throat> so I can either go over here and erase that through. But then it, it breaks the, the thing. Say anything, it goes all the way through. So I can either change that that one dimension no. Or if I go up, um, where is it? The tools. Is here where you can change. I'll have to find where that is. I thought it was in here. Um, but if we change the, the standard, the style, and I'll change it. So I'll find where I can go to change that. I thought it was in there. So the, the, for, the easiest way is just to go in, delete that through, say OK. So this has the diameter. Right? On your drawings, a lot of times it has the the number for the, for the drill, is that right? Yeah. A lot of your drawings have it to like a number 43 and a number 28 and stuff like that. Standard is to put the actual decimal, not the drill size. So we want to go with that, even though that's not what you're drawing at. Okay? Oh, so we have to change the one-fourth and all that to decimals? Yeah. So, questions? We want that to be, um, we want the dimensions to be in, in uh, standard. Uh, I'm going to look where to change what this inner says, but we can move these, move these around. If you want to add other ones, just go to your smart dimension and put on your other dimensions. You see the ones that use smart dimension are gray, not black, because they're, they're a driven dimension. I can also go in here to the properties. And change this, it's not going to change the part. Um, 
now wouldn't wouldn't the changing the parts on that um, um, and that cause a lot of headache and if all the parts are made into the assembly because it would change the uh, not necessarily. Really if you decide at this point that you want to change some stuff, mm -hmm. it becomes easier because then you can just go to the different drawings here. So you like to just right click, add a sheet, and I'll have the next part here. And so if I have all those, the, the black ones, those are driving dimensions. So those will change the part. And I can go in and I can. Go to the here, change this to half. Go to the other part in, in the drawing, change that, to, that that's, those holes that line up to half also in that drawing and never have to go into the model. So it, it makes it easy to change things also. You're not having to open the parts, you can just do everything inside the drawing. You have to have a little bit of planning to, to know what, what you want to do. Questions? Um, so go ahead today, finish your assemblies, start making drawings. Um, Wednesday we'll go over the 3D sketches, so you need to have your assemblies done by Wednesday. Okay, no excuses. Um, um, you don't have to have all the drawings done by then, but at least get started on them so that you can start working on them throughout the semester. Okay? Oh, we're yep. done with that. I want you to come over Any other questions? Yeah. On, uh, <coughs> When you pull those uh, those drawings into that sheet, is, is it like an inventor, the, the dimensions that you pull in there, mm -hmm. they come out on the same thing? Yep, that's what I just did, right? Yeah. Okay. So remember, if you use model dimension, model items, that's going to bring the dimensions you put in on your model. If you want to use ones you didn't put there, then you're just going to use a smart dimension. Okay, questions? So we do the drawing after we do the assembly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you can start making your parts first, but you need to do your assembly first. So get the assembly done and then start working on drawings to fill time. And anytime that you have spare time, um, whenever you, if you finish that week's whatever we're doing that week, then work on the drawings again. Okay? Questions?